We're behind the bar now. Uh, we just made some delicious food over there with Chef Jake Burkhart, Burkhart of uh, White Bison and Fall Line. And now it's time for cocktails. Yeah. And, you know, it must be spring break because it's cocktails before 9 a.m. <laughs> spring break. Here we go. So what are we making today? Um, one of the cocktails that I have on the list is called the I'll Allow It. I'll Allow It. Um, it's good any time of day, even 8 o'clock in the morning, um, year round too. Um, our cocktail list, we try to use you no know, seasonal stuff, um, uh -huh. but a lot of them you can drink year round, yeah. just like this one. And um, this is your own custom um, cocktail here that you made for the fall line list this winter season. It is. And I, I should say before we start, I forgot to mention, your name is Ben Bama Moss. That's right. So, yeah. you know, this is Bama's specialty right here. That's right. The, yeah, that's that's what you're going to get. So let's dive in. Let's, let's see right. what we're starting It's a rye-based cocktail, so we wanted to showcase um, the Rittenhouse Rye out of Heaven Hill Distillery. Okay. Um, a great product, uh, 100 proof, so it has that nice high proof to... Uh, to hold up to a cocktail. Wonderful. So um, that's going in first. It's right? going in first. So we're going to do an ounce and a half there. I got my jigger and measure out there. Okay. Um, What's up next? We have sherry, which is a fortified wine, a Montiato. A Montiato excuse me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we are going to do a half ounce there. It's going to add the savory quality, a little nutty, like all of us. Okay. Um, the <laughs> next one is a little chinar, which is an amaro from Italy. Uh, made from artichokes. It's a, an interesting product there. Um, and just, a, just, just a, a little, little bit, just a little a quarter ounce there. Wonderful. And then yeah. what are we headed to next? Next, uh, we're going to add some sweet components to the dish. Okay. Or to, to the, to the, to the, the dishes right? like, uh, <laughs> like a cocktail. Okay. Same kind of thing. We so mix us uh, tart and sweet. Um, just like a nice balance here. Wonderful. So we're going to do a half ounce of a honey syrup. It's just like a simple syrup where you mix 50-50. Uh, okay. And, and now and now for the tart element? Or no, what? this is another sweet element. Okay, sweet element. Um, so we have another half ounce of a winter spice syrup. It's a rich panela sugar that we use and mix um, some nice bacon spices like cinnamon, uh, star anise, nutmeg, peppercorn. So this is really complex. Uh, There's a peel. lot of flavors going on A lot on of here. stuff going on, and you can uh, taste all of it throughout mm -hmm. the cocktail. Wonderful. Uh, a lot of layers there. Now we're going for the lemon. Fresh, fresh squeezed lemon. Uh, we fresh squeeze all of our, our juices daily. Mm -hmm. Lemon, lime, grapefruit, orange. So uh, that makes a huge difference in cocktails. And here mm -hmm. we go with the lemon press, and we're straining out the seeds. All right. And in with the fresh lemon juice. All right. For the, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> uh, that was a little it's all about lemon. the pronunciation. Usually a full <laughs> ounce is about a half lemon there, depending on the size. Great. And that's a, another tart element there. Perfect. In goes the lemon juice. All right. Excellent. We've got our glass and our ice ready to go here. And we ready to shake? Yeah. Shake it up, man. <laughs> I think Bam is in his element here. <laughs> Bam was in his element behind the bar at TVA. And there we go. All right. Into nice the glass. Little dirty and... dump. Uh, a lot of times we'll strain our, mostly we'll strain our cocktails, but this sure. particular one, we like to dump it all in there. A little nice dilution from, from the ice. Perfect. Um, and the garnish. And the garnish. I love sage. I love the smell of it. It's very fragrant. And there it is, the I'll Allow It by Bama Moss, who's behind the bar over at Fall Line um, on a regular basis. You should stop by here during the Burton U.S. Open and catch this drink. I'm just uh, experiencing the smells of this, and uh, man, that is just, that's an outrageous cocktail. It looks yeah, delicious. So while we've been making up the cocktails here, uh, Chef Jake Burkhardt has been over here in the kitchen finishing off his dish. So we're going to get, head over for a look at the finished product. So Chef Jake, what are we looking at here? We've made a shrimp risotto and a beautiful pork steamed buns with uh, with some nice garnishes on there. Yeah, so we're going to finish up our shrimp risotto. So I have some Pecorino Romano. Um, I have a nice aged risotto that we cook down with mushroom stock, some uh, forged mushrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, we're adding a little bit of the cheese right at the very end. So we're going to go ahead and plate our dish. Um, so we have our beautiful risotto going to go right in the center. Uh, the shrimp that we use for this dish, we use a uh, wild-caught uh, Baja shrimp uh, from California. Mm -hmm. So as you can see here, they're very beautiful. These are U10s. So first of all, we're going to start with a little bit of, we have a uh, chorizo ragu. Mm -hmm. We use a aged Spanish chorizo. We're going to mm -hmm. add a little bit of that in the, in the middle. And then we're going to go ahead and add our shrimp. So it's going to be three shrimp right in the center. And then we're going to finish it off uh, with some pickled 
uh, mushrooms, so it's going to add a little bit of acidity to the dish. And then we add some nasturgeon greens. These are from Knapp Ranch. Uh, mm -hmm. They do all of our microgreens for both restaurants. Mm -hmm. So very, very cool company out of Edwards. Yeah. Um, very local. They do some nice stuff in the summer as well. And then just a little bit of really nice olive oil to finish the dish. So olive oil is really important for this. And Chef Jake, thank you so much. These yes, dishes look you. fabulous. Really appreciate you coming in today. And folks yes, can uh, folks can head over to Vale Village to check this out. Fall um, Fall Line, right end Vale Village, um, at the crossroads past the covered bridge and White Bison just down the street from that. We're going to head over to Ashley for a look at the ski conditions and the weather. Thanks for watching.